there, I'm Victoria Shade with What A Dog Wants, and today we're gonna to be talking about a product from one of my favorite manufacturers, Westpaw. Yay, Westpaw. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Oh gosh, I've got a fan club here. Um, what do I love about Westpaw? I love the fact that their products are manufactured right here in the United States, in Montana, which is fantastic and super cool. I love the fact that they have a sustainable model for um, everything they make which means they recycle a lot of their products. I also love the fact that they have a guarantee. So every product they make, sorry, we've got some gorgeous ladies of wrestling going on here. Oh my goodness, fighting. <laughs> every product they make comes with a guarantee, which is pretty incredible. Excuse me for a moment. Ladies. All right, so let's talk about the product of the moment. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Westpaw's Tux Toy. Now it comes in two different sizes. This is the small, which is great for my little wrestlers. <laughs> hey ladies, all of it. Then there is a larger size, which is good for labs and bigger dogs. Comes in three colors, orange, blue, and lime green. Let me tell you a little bit about what I love about the tux. I love the fact that it's a great fetching toy. These three prongs give it an unpredictable bounce, which makes the game super fun. But even better, I love the fact that it has this awesome reservoir. The whole idea, or at least I think the whole idea, is that this toy can act as a babysitter. You fill it with goodies, whether peanut butter, biscuits, treats, oh my goodness, and then your dog can hunker down and get to work on it. And that's what most dogs do with this kind of toy. There are two different kinds of busy toys in my book. One is a stationary activity toy, and that's what this is. So you fill it with goodies, and your dog's gonna sit down and hold it in his paws just like this, don't I look like a puppy, and get to work. The other kind is, a, is an active busy toy where the dog has to push it around or roll it to get the goodies out. And they, they definitely each have a place. The beauty of a stationary busy toy is that you can give it to your dog in the crate and he's gonna be really happily occupied. Now I do have a caveat though. If you give it to your dog in the crate and he's not supervised, excuse me with the licking, um, you have to make sure that he's not able to get chunks off. So you have to do a bunch of trial runs before you give it to him solo to make sure that there's no way for him to chew pieces off. There is no perfect toy as much as I love the West Pot Tops and the rest of their line. Um, there are a couple drawbacks. One of them is the cost. So everything I mentioned at the top of this video comes at a cost. The other drawback is that as tough as Zogo Flex is, and that's the name of this proprietary rubber. Did I mention that? I can't remember. Um, as tough as it is, it is not indestructible. And I mention that as a drawback haltingly because there is no such thing as an indestructible dog toy. No matter what, there's a dog out there that's gonna be able to get a chunk out of whatever they say is the toughest dog toy in the world. That said, Zogo Flex is tougher, and don't forget you have that guarantee. So that makes it, you know, the cost a little bit more palatable. So, in summary, love the Westpod Tux. Two sizes, three colors, great busy toy. In our household, it gets eight paws up, two thumbs up, and I think your dogs are going to agree. <laughs>